as a storm water management tool and for flood control. So our study aims to identify the feasible LID techniques that could be applied in the contributing catchments of the watershed in Barangay Talamban, Cebu City, and also to estimate the reduction in runoff peak and runoff volume in the identified LID. So low impact development is a system that has been used to imitate the process of water cycle. It reduces runoff volume through the use of stormwater retention and desertion areas. So from the past studies, it has been found that low impact development can help in conserving the natural hydrology, reducing stormwater runoff and the cost of stormwater infrastructures, also the number of costly flooding events. So we have uh, different uh, LID stormwater techniques used all throughout the world. However, uh, we will only consider some techniques that uh, we see suitable for the study area. So, for instance, we cannot use uh, permeable pavements since uh, the study area is already highly urbanized, making it uh, uh, undesirable for kind of, pavement uh, permeable pavements. So, in fact, the university is slowly implementing LID like uh, detention and retention ponds near the BCT and the soccer field. Also, uh, rainwater harvesting. So, the our significance of the study is to apply LID to meet basic flood control and drainage requirements. Moreover, this can be helpful in improving water quality restoring aquatic habitat, and enhancing the neighborhood beauty. For, so our study will be focusing on the you know, uh, storm water management capacity of the low impact development. So the, despite it uh, being helpful in uh, groundwater recharging, uh, we will not consider it since uh, the it, the area of the study is uh, already urbanized, making it uh, impossible for uh, impossible for us to uh, recharge groundwater since mostly our roads already are paved. So, for our methodology, we start off by gathering all the necessary data, including uh, contour maps, land use maps and rainfall data and uh, polygon shape files for georeferencing. Also, uh, this uh, data will be compiled using QSWAT. The QSWAT will be the one to conduct the hydrologic analysis of, to determine the, the volume of the runoff. So, after that, the the data will be generated and then before going with the hydrologic analysis in the, with the application of LID, we will have a thorough investigation in the area. So we will be identifying the feasible LID in that area. And after that, we will conduct the hydrologic analysis also in QSWAT that is with the application already of the low impact development. The results will then be generated and will be compared to the results from the hydrologic analysis without the application of LID. So 